Yeah, I'm seeing the bottom. At some point, I need to learn just to get in the water and walk us. The question is, how deep is it? Take it in. Or. Hold on, I'll take it in a second. This is my quest for you to get out and do this for me. I you said would, I would you do it. You wouldn't be doing it. I said I would do it. All right, hold on. I can get out. No. Hold on. 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 Hold
we are greeted in the morning by the fishermen and oystermen starting their work day. We watch an oyster boat circle an area by use of a line at the top of a pole. For several hours, the men repeatedly haul up their basket, upload the oysters, drop their basket, and pick through the oysters. The front of our acreage is a commercial oyster farm using aquaculture cages. Flipping the cages periodically prevents their fouling and reduces the need to power wash the cages. Sunsets here on Gwyn's Island have been magnificent. Wow, look how brilliant that is. And we enjoy another beautiful display. Mocha, Mocha. Come on, Mocha. Good boy. Sit. Duala, Duala, Duala. We head to the public landing next to the only restaurant in town to take the dogs out for a short walk. All those, like that, right there. A groin. A groin. A groin. What's a groin? What is a groin? Yeah. It is a straight jetty that comes from seafloor up, usually approximately perpendicular to the shore. And then when the current comes along, it picks up the sand and then delivers it just downstream of the groin itself. So it helps build up. So by building a groin right there, this area right here is getting silted in more. Island communities will uh, petition the state to uh, build groins to uh, help shore up. You, you think these dogs are having a hard time with these uh, gentle leaders? Look, all three of them are, are rubbing their muzzles up against my leg. Please take this off. Please take this off. Yeah, they don't like it. No, they want to be free and run. And you guys have been spoiled. We leave you off leash so much. You're just so used to being spoiled. So mom, all three of us and dad were talking and we've decided when we die, we want to come back as one of your pets again. <laughs> again, that would be nice. I would love to have all of you again. Oh, it was that hard to say. <laughs> that would be nice. I would like all 3.5 of you. <laughs> Jim, but without the mouth. Oh, 3.25. <laughs> your mouth is 0.75 of yes, your body. Yes. When you put it that way, I know what you're thinking. I think this is the only restaurant that's left. It is left the only restaurant. Room. When I looked on uh, Google, yeah. In fact, this is much nicer than I expected it to be. It doesn't really look like a hole in the wall. No, no. Maybe the cute. original building was, and they've uh, upgraded it. It's cute. And what are their, what are their little signs up here? Does it say White Dog Bistro Matthews? Oh, that's kind of cool. They're trying to give everybody business. Pizza. Yeah, that's cute. That's quite nice. Paradise Found, Hole in the Wall. So after a few tries, we finally made it to the Hole in the Wall. Exactly. And what did you order? I ordered the fried shrimp. I did too. I changed I, my order. Because I never eat fried anything, so yeah. this will be a little, little different. Very happy that this place is uh, open and they're doing some business yes, now. It's good to see. So what did you think of Gwyn's Island? I love Gwyn's Island. What's your favorite part? Um, well, for us, we've been able to build up a lot of uh, our new skills. Just feel comfortable being on the boat. Mm -hmm. And also the um, different anchorages. My favorite part was the beach landing. Yes. Which took us how many tries? We, well, two attempts, <laughs> yeah, but two uh, it worked out very well. That was another, I mean, that's just part of the lessons that we've been learning. Yeah, that was a gorgeous beach. We were there all by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was nice. Yeah, it's basically a long finger, uh, all natural, and uh, 
it was fairly easy to get the dinghy to. Yeah, the one thing I really enjoyed about Gwen's Island is the swing bridge. Oh, the pivoting bridge? Yeah. Yeah. It reminds us of the uh, uh, one down at Figure our, Eight uh, Island. Yeah. At our, yeah, figure eight island. Yeah, it was fun to watch it swing around, then come through, and then have to swing back. All right. Stay. Stay. Mocha. Come. Come. On. Wait. Come on. Off. Step. Okay. Okay. Hey guys. I know Nuala gets down there, but she's scaredy pop. She's scaredy pop. You guys aren't scaredy pop. Oh, we found it. Yeah, we found the public talk. If you read about the town, how it used to be years and years ago, they used to have so much fishing here that they would get these theater boats over here that would come and they would put on shows and people would be like at the docks and watching them or be on the boats and watching the theater, the theater boats. Island Pride, Hannah Carroll. It's kind of crazy to think about all these people gathering and watching theater on, on boats. See the bird is on the top of the Oh side. yeah. Oh look. Yeah. She does not like us coming this close. Oh. Our time at Gwyn's Island has come to an end. We wait for the swing bridge to open and say goodbye as we leave.